Did you just say Mujin posted his Wuthering Ways video? There's no fucking shot, dude. Oh my god, we're gonna have so much content coming out. Easy, dude. This is just a drama day. Let's fucking go, Mujin. I love you. Coming in clutch. Mujin time. Debunk it the biggest misinformation war in gacha game history. Guys, can we please stop doing this? Can we please? After almost four <laughs> years since Genshin Impact's release, we finally have a worthy competitor. And instead of focusing about what makes this game special or unique, or maybe mm -hmm. enjoying both games... Which everybody should do, by the way. Everybody should do. We have people using the term Genshin Impact Killer, taking us on one hell of a throwback from like 20 years ago <laughs> and any time a game in the MMO category... I will always say the exact same thing. The only thing that will kill Genshin is Genshin itself. I agree with that statement now more than ever. Gory came out after World of Warcraft. All news articles in the entire community that didn't want to play World of Warcraft would call it the World of Warcraft yeah, killer. But killer. as you can see from this tier list over here, nothing worked. And the only things that can actually kill World of Warcraft is WoW are Blizzard, and Blizzard themselves. And this yep. sucks to do because it puts very unrealistic expectations on those games that are coming out and hinders them, even though they could be good games by themselves. Here's yep. the thing though, <laughs> even though all these games were touted as World of Warcraft killers, the controversy surrounding the communities is nothing <laughs> compared to what's been going on between Genshin Impact and Wuthering Waves. You have to that understand the amount of outright misinformation. In I have no idea what you mean by misinformation. I don't think there's any misinformation about anything going on in the communities at all. We definitely haven't just watched like two hours worth of misinformation already. An exaggeration and just false narratives that have been going on just this last week has been insane. It's crazy. Like, look, look at this image, for example. I'm sure you've seen this <laughs> if you've been keeping up with this drama. Base. This is an image of someone holding up their phone, launching dude. weathering waves. This is one of the most based images, dude. While in Mihoyo's HQ in Shanghai, who are the creators of Genshin Impact. Yeah. This image spread like wildfire under the narrative of, oh, look, even Genshin Impact developers are playing this game. It's so good. They can't even hide it anymore. <laughs> Dude, to. listen, what if I told you that I personally know who took this picture, why they took it, and how I can guarantee you, I can give you Wait. proof that they're not a Mihoyo employee. Don't ruin this for me, Muji, you little fuck. Does this even say Mihoyo anymore at the Mihoyo thing? Is it Hoyoverse? Is it Photoshopped? Who is it? Oi, it's just insane. This thing spread everywhere. Who is it? But unfortunately, it hasn't just been some dumb things. There are some aspects of this misinformation that spread around like crazy that can endanger careers of voice actors and Kuro Games, which are the developers of Wuthering Waves, as a whole. So I thought I'd make this video to kind of go over some of the most- We just went over this drama, by the way, which is absolutely insane. The, the Sayu stuff, it's fucking crazy. He doesn't deserve to be going through that. Ace nine takes from people on both sides because they're both complicit and just laugh about it while giving you some very well-needed context. Hell yeah. So strap in, because it's going to be crazy. Nice. Wuthering Waves was highly anticipated by many people. Indeed. This is the first legitimate competitor to Genshin Impact. Let's completely forget about Tower of Fantasy. That was an absolute disaster. Yeah, we're not going to go through that again. Like, put it in the same category at this point. Me either. They've had somewhat of a rough launch, okay? There were performance issues both on PC and mobile. And while unfortunately it's become the norm in the gaming industry in general, they were very quick on their feet, released hotfixes almost every single day, yep. and gave rewards that players could never imagine seeing in their competitor's game. Now, despite these performance issues, guys, uh, they've achieved the exist. number one spot for downloads on the top charts in over a hundred regions, okay? They're doing very well. But there is one issue that even the most hardcore Wuthering Waves fans can't deny. Uh -huh. And that is the extremely disappointing and inconsistent English dub. Yes. In particular, the female protagonist. You can pick either male or female. I'm so glad I picked male, Rova, because I haven't had to go through this yet. All right, I picked female. Don't take my word for it. Look at this scene, Wait, which is meant is to be all intense, of them? with a very important battle going on. Just, just listen to this. <laughs> just listen to this. Interesting. Oh, no, no. <laughs> It's a bit quiet, but it's fine. What the fuck? Wait. You will not escape. What the fuck? Fighting for a life, dude. You will not escape. What's that? God. Ah. Uh, I feel like those lines were done without any voice direction. Like she, the voice actor didn't know what was happening in that scene. They were just told to say it. 
I feel like it. <laughs> it wasn't just in combat, yeah. though. This is the same character talking to herself in an internal monologue during an investigation oh, no. type quest. Okay, let's see the voice Part acting. Of the building is submerged. I should be able to find the hidden path underwater. It seems I have a puzzle to solve. Uh huh. Guess I will check on the mechanism. <laughs> This is a big pet peeve for me, dude, but when it's like, guess I will, and they say it like that, guess I will check on the mechanism in the middle first. It sounds so robotic instead of just being like, guess I'll check on the mechanism in the middle first, not guess I will. I guess I will go to the second floor and I will do the thing. I just don't like it. Hello, I am currently voice acting for <laughs> Wuthering Wings. <laughs> Okay. Now look, there have been- But I think the voice actors are great. It, I think it is just a direction problem. Many theories surrounding why the voice acting was subpar in English while being amazing. And Don't you dare shit on Britain. I mean, top tier in Japanese, Chinese, and Korean. Of course, people just couldn't accept like a boring reason. Like, I don't know, uh, there was a lack of direction or- I think that is the case. Communication or something like well, that. No, 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 no. It had to be a conspiracy theory. This is where this absolute class- Glad we agree. <laughs> no, it had to be a con All roads lead back to me. Conspiracy <laughs> theory. This is where this absolute clown, this absolute buffoon by the name of Saint Taint or t Oh god. You can't make this frick up. The timing is amazing. It really is, Lord. Thank you for the six and nine videos. Oh god. Wait, how many subs does Mujin have? Oh, he's fucking cocked, dude. Is it 200k? Nah, this guy's gonna make a fucking 17 minute video on him. Titties, whatever the hell his name is, came out with a video. Was Wuthering Waves sabotaged by Hoyaverse? Did Genshin Impact's developer sabotage it directly? This is incredible timing. YouTube, if you're watching this reaction, you will see why, but you can watch the probably the last video because that'll probably be going up first and understand exactly why. Please? Question mark? Oh, with God. 77,000 views, okay? What does. I didn't even check how many views it had. Oh, this is a different video. This is a six minute video. This, wow. Saint Taint. Bro made a have double to say. whammy. All right, 1.25 speed. Cue the circus music. Let's go. Wuthering Waves has taken over the United States. Yeah. Hero Games, the True. developer for Wuthering Waves, is confident in its success. True. Interest has grown rapidly over the past few weeks as Kuro ramps up their marketing and advertising efforts prior. Normal. Sick. Normal. Kuro yeah, has a pretty good. This in the gacha space despite losing many of its potential content creators to Hoya versus predatory performance accomplished this in the gacha space despite losing many of its potential content creators to Hoyaverse. All these people are making videos on Wuthering Ways. What is bro fucking yapping? God, oh my god, you're so fucking misinformed and dumb. This predatory preferred creator. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Already off to it a great start. Worse. All right, so all these content creators are known for their Genshin content, and they've yeah. all since then have been playing Wuthering. <laughs> Pretty much only Wuthering Waves, by the way. Waves, except Asian guy stream, but he has expressed that he's quitting yes. content creation. So, <laughs> not even thirty seconds in, and this guy is just spewing bullshit. This contract he's referencing is very simple. It leaked around a month ago, and it's from a company called Yami Hall. This is the Yami Hallit contract. Oh yeah, guys, this is an a. Uh... I'm pretty sure this isn't like a ZZZ contract itself, like from Hoyovers. It's actually, I think it's a different company contract. It's a marketing agency and Hoyovers will typically hire multiple of these agencies. Oh, maybe it is through Hoyovers. I don't know. Is this, what is this? I'm, I want to know what this Zealous or Zero stuff is. I have no, I haven't heard about this. South content creators who are usually smaller or up and coming and give them access to a game like Zealous Zone Zero. It's an agency contract, as in the normal agency contracts that are for all video games for content creators where most of them do it like the very common contracts that cc's often get usually without exclusivity <laughs> you want specifically okay oh, that's very hard to get into during the closed beta and in return they'll ask for them to do a bunch of stuff now uh -huh. in that contract this clause right here made a lot of people panic it says the content creator shall promptly notify yami holic if any other gaming brand intends to sponsor their content Yami Holic has full discretion to reject sponsorships that could be detrimental to Zenless Zone Zero or the content creator's reputation. Okay. So their role doesn't just become a marketing agency, they also present themselves as your agent. It's scummy, it's predatory, and usually the people who fall for this are smaller content creators who don't have an agent. Even I was reached out. <laughs> What do you mean, even I, dude? Bro is set at 200k subs with multiple, like, super high fucking viewed videos. Mujin, 
you need to realize your size, brother. By a similar company, back when They're I initially was blowing up with my interactive map videos. And since they kind of take the role of an agent, you can very easily Even then he was huge. Easily see in multiple YouTubers' channels, in their description, they usually will say affiliated with this company, affiliated with that company. Okay. It means that this marketing agency has become their agent. <laughs> and yeah, most likely they can't really talk about competitors without their permission. So yeah, this is important because it'll show up again in the video, right? So Okay. <laughs> yeah. Now I've never been approached by Yomi Holic. <laughs> Check this out. This is really where the theory crafting starts to take place. He's referencing the English voice actors for Weathering Waves. I kind of just want to feel included now, you know? <laughs> Looking at the roster, it's quite strange that we're seeing so few names that we're traditionally familiar with. In the <laughs> that you're familiar with. Yes. Big names like Rihanna Knickerbocker, Demond yeah. Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, Honkai Star Rail, Star Rail again. Despite previous involvement in many gacha titles. One of those titles, ironically enough, includes yeah. Punishing Grey Raven. Coincidence or not, Punishing Grey Raven is the game that Kuro Games made before Wuthering Waves, right? So all these voice actors from Genshin, Honkai Star Rail, were in Punishing Grey Raven. Just keep this in mind as this guy keeps talking, all right? Yeah. All these big ticket DAs are nowhere to be found. Uh -huh. This becomes even more questionable knowing that Skylar Davenport, the voice actor for March 7th from Hoyo vs. Turn-Based Strategy Game. Yeah. I can't believe this guy went through all of this knowing full well that Kuro put out the announcement saying they just changed from US to UK based. Like, he knew the reason, and he still went through all this. Crazy. That's Star Rail. We know her. Also, the voice of Bianca from Crazy. Punishing Grey Oh, Rain wow. Was the original voice for Yang Yang in the earliest closed beta test. Yep, I in see. In the current state of the game, her VA is Rebecca Yo. Skylar Davenport is a talented actress. Yep. That has yeah, she is. She is. Agreed. In her previous role with Kuro Games. Why would Kuro Games replace a tenured VA for their largest budget game? I don't know a why. VA that has only had one. You literally know why. You said you know why at the end of the fucking video prior over two years ago yeah let's just insult her <laughs> <laughs> how much dialogue had to be rewritten to accommodate for new oh games. my god it's clear that something is going on behind the scenes is it were the delays in the english dub for the wuthering wave cbt caused by even more anti-compete agreements <laughs> by the <laughs> behind the scenes with its va contractors this is a disturbing disturbing i'm posting both videos dude i'm posting my reaction to the original thing and i'm posting this one i i, I dude I, I i need people to see both perspectives this is crazy it's very crazy. disturbing it's actively guys. developing within the gotcha space and video games as a whole the ability to deny resources and talent to life is roblox it feels like fucking ace attorney right now competitors absolutely predatory employment agreements is this is oivers right here <laughs> you heard it here first so of course these accusations are huge not just because they put Hoyverse as a very bad actor in the industry, but it's also implying that these voice actors who did work for Hoyverse are just money hungry yeah. and will sign any contract that takes away their rights as yeah. long as they get the money, baby. Kind of like if you've ever played Baldur's Gate 3 and all of the warlocks basically sign away their life to the devils or the demons, mainly devils, I think, for, for power, right? Voice actors are basically warlocks. Maybe. This video has 77,000 views, right? Mm -hmm. And all the comments are them being like, wow, this sounds illegal. Holy moly. This makes me want to support Kuro more. <laughs> this is really <laughs> weird. And it only continues what? to worsen this war, this nuclear meltdown between the two communities. Thankfully, though, once this spread a bit too much, voice actors oh, finally God. spoke up. Sayu, who is a VTuber and who voices both Jingwan from Honkai Star Rail and Sino from Genshin Impact, uploaded this video on his VOD channel saying, let's talk, stop lying on my- This is just drama to Electric Boogaloo for us. We just went through all this. This is such good timing. Name. Look, this is one of the first thing he says in this video. One more thing before we get into Wuthering Waves. Uh, would you voice in Wuthering Waves given the chance? Yes, I would love to. So, yeah. <laughs> just the first five seconds is him saying, yes, I would love to voice for Wuthering Waves. And he goes on to say that this is completely false. There is no yeah. exclusivity clause in the contract that says you cannot voice just for Wuthering Waves. In fact, the voice acting industry is so... Com well, for Genshin, right? I think that's what he meant, though. That says you cannot voice just for Wuthering Waves. Oh, no, okay. This is saying no contract, no exclusivity because of the Genshin contracts that say you can't voice for the Wuthering Waves. Yeah, In fact, My the bad. voice acting industry is so competitive that you'd be an idiot to sign something like this, especially when you have an agent that will tell you, hey, <laughs> do not sign this contract. It simply turns out that the studio Kuro Games chose to hire was in London. And contrary yeah. to what you might think, especially after the pandemic and remote work, you will almost always be asked to go to a studio to record. You'll never 
Is that true? I thought people could quite happily record from their home still, but maybe not. Never be asked to do it from home, although, you know, maybe very rarely. Interesting. All these well-known voice actors in the gacha and anime space are it located in Los Angeles. It's not to say that there aren't any good ones in London, it's just that maybe some of the ones- Thank you for saying that. Yeah, no, London's- No, fuck that. London's shit. You can, you can just say it. Just be honest with your community, Muji. London's fucking dog shit. The UK's not bad overall, but London's fucking terrible, dude. You're used to aren't. So of course, when it comes to someone like Sayu or Alejandro, which is, you know- Hey, Muji, welcome in! Bro, it's so fucking funny, you have no idea. We just spent the first two hours of stream literally just reacted to all of this hellbent drama against this dumb fucking channel and then Sayu's stuff. And then the second we finish, someone in chat's like, oh, Muji just uploaded a new video. We start watching it, it's the same thing. Oh my god. You no, know, his real name that he goes by in the voice acting industry. Asking him to fly from LA to London just to record for one game is asking a bit too much because many of these voice actors are in Jesus very high Christ. demand and a trip through the Atlantic is going to be very taxing. Yes, and it is. And as to it's why the English voice acting in Wuthering Waves suffered greatly, it seems to be a lack of solid direction. Do I think the female Rover's voice actress is bad? Hell no. Bro, uh, me and you are, are in the exact same boat right now. I think all of the voice actors, and I've done my research on like even Yang Yang's current VA, I think they're all very talented from what I've heard. I do think it's just a voice direction and a communication problem. I think they were shown their lines and not the scenes that the lines were from, because like female Rover, the the voice is great. But I wouldn't even begin to it just, the, the voice lines don't, the, the way that they're portraying the lines don't match up with the actions happening at the time, you know? That's basically, yeah, and that, and the fact that they're doing opposite, what, wrong accents. American accents is the UK accents when that's what they're used to as well. It's just a, it's just a, a bit of, a lot of different things added into one. Do I think sure. the female Rover's voice actress is bad? No. Hell no! I wouldn't even begin to think that. Look, you're probably not a voice actor watching. If I asked you, hey, I am. Can you say the line, I'll kill them all? In I'll kill them all! In the context of a very important battle, you'll Sorry. probably be like, I'll kill them all. You'll you saw some my titties. KNIX gifted a tier one sub to Mujin official. They have given 16 gift subs in the channel. Thank you very much. Congrats, Mujin. You're now a sub instead of a dom. In the context of a very important battle, you'll probably be like, I'll kill them all. You'll give a good performance. If I just tell you, hey, can you just say the phrase, I'll kill them all, without giving you any context? I'll kill them all. <laughs> I had to do it like Mujin did it. Fuck. <laughs> As to why you're saying it, it's going to sound like this. So as far as I know, Kura Games have taken in the feedback and they're working on it, right? They're yes, going to revisit the English dub and they're going to stop forcing their Accents. British voice actors to force an American accent, which... I can't do that, by the way. Hell yeah, brother. That's like all I can do. I got told to do a Cali girl accent yesterday by Duck and I'm like, oh my God, can you believe it? Wuthering Waves is so good. And like, I can't do it. I just can't do accents. It's so fucking hard. It sounds so easy. It's so tough, dude. Which really didn't help, by the way. It made them very uncomfortable. And that's it, there wasn't a huge conspiracy theory. Aren't you from Texas? Hell yeah, brother. Now, of course, after Sayu and multiple other voice actors came out to say this, Saint Taint, even though he uploaded this to- <laughs> Don't say that, he got pissed off that Sayu called him Saint Tom. Weeks ago, came out with an edited pinned comment two days ago, wrote oh. four paragraphs. Guys, listen, I'm gonna save you time. You can read this if you want, ignore all these three. Let's just focus on the fourth one because this is the best part. Oh, I think that's where I actually stopped reading it. <laughs> Out of all this. <clears throat> this video dives into a hypothetical explanation. Oh yeah, that was completely not a bullshit. There was nothing hypothetical about it. For what bro, bro was saying everything as if it was a fucking confirmed fact and they're getting mad when the facts were debunked. Let's be honest, troubles in the English voice work. It's clear that the lack of experience on some of the cast members has led to dips in quality on release. That's not clear at all. Like I mentioned in the video, it's very odd that Kuro would go with a whole new direction for one of their biggest budget games. No, it's not. To less than satisfactory results. That bit kind of is. The keyword is hypothetical. The keyword is you're fucking wrong. It's an explanation for what could have happened. Then don't portray it like it's fact if it's a portrayal of what could have happened. Not a statement of fact. Well, then why'd you say it was? Me spreading misinformation would require me to know the terms, conditions... No, it wouldn't. ...and restrict... That's some bullshit. That's a, that's a big cop-out excuse. For me to spread misinformation, I need to know the facts. No, you don't. You can spread misinformation without knowing the facts. I can literally say that aftershave right there has cyanide in it. 
That's probably misinformation. I don't know what the fuck's in it, but it's probably not fucking cyanide. ...of every voice actor's contracts and deliberately construct a false narrative, which is exactly what you did, by the way. Exactly. And bro has 10 alt accounts. Wait. If you think I had that knowledge 14 days ago when this video script was written, seek guidance. If you wrote the script 14 days ago and you released the video two days ago, but the information was out there five days ago, then you take the time within those three days to fix what you said instead of uploading a, a, a video that is incorrect and then getting mad when people call you out for being incorrect. Fucking stupid. <laughs> Let's just, 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 one second. Should be a map questionable practices. Their success in monopolizing some of the most important aspects of a game's longevity and appeal should be a massive cause for concern. Hypothetical, by the, the way. Community. This is just it's a theory. <laughs> has made active it's abundantly clear that Hoyaverse has made active it's attempts to sabotage Wuthering Waves close beta test. That's a hypothetical. As a heads up, as a heads up. That's a, that's, that's a hypothetical. Sabotage Wuthering Waves close beta test and first impressions. <laughs> Voice actors at the most inopportune times. <laughs> this is all hypothetical. Likely the direct cause for the lack of English dub in the Guys, this is a hypothetical. Yeah, it's a hypothetical statement, guys. Hypothetical statement, it chill. Are you sure, Brent? I'm sure. Mujin's sure as well. It's a hypothetical statement. Very convenient if a contract from a signed Hoyaverse VA was leaked <laughs> in the coming weeks. I think we'd find some shocking similarities with the previous. It would be very, very convenient if someone's contract leak causing them to lose a job and have a terrible reputation in the voice acting industry you know it would be very cool if someone would do that dude <laughs> yeah so cool listen he is a clown okay. i actually disagree with that statement mujin i think that's ins i actually do think that's pretty insulting and i i do think it's wrong to insult clowns like that because clowns are actually funny so i think you should really choose your words carefully next time okay he is an absolute buffoon he has all that's better. All in the same six minutes, insulted the current voice actors on Wuthering Waves. Spread misinformation like crazy. He does also only have 2.35k subs, which he brought up 17 times during the video, so just be careful. And when he finally got caught in a corner, he just doubles down and just like, hey, it wasn't me. Like, I just, I'm just, I'm just saying, like, maybe. <laughs> it really is unfortunate that something like this I took agree. so many people's attention it away is. from the very simple issue that is just a lack of coordination in the English voice acting. And of yeah. course, it made the drama worse. You know, due to videos like... I know that guy! Whatever the hell his name is, Taint or whatever, content creators have been dealing with many people giving them shit for either playing or not yeah. playing Wuthering. Even I've been getting shit for, for just enjoying the game. Waves. So you're in this dilemma. If you say anything positive... Thanks for buttmarking my tweet, by the way, Mujin. It makes me feel important and special and cool and loved. ...about Wuthering Waves coming from Genshin, you're accused of being sponsored. And if you... Why don't you like it, though? I never liked drama really. <laughs> Wait, do you actually not? <laughs> Spoiler alert. Oh, you're so fucking smart. Yeah, because you make videos about all this shit. You don't like it so that it doesn't pop up on, like, people's feeds and shit. Oh, my God. You're so fucking smart. Can you like it now? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you don't say anything positive, then you're also accused of being sponsored by Genshin Impact or Hoyaverse. His Hoyer contract requires him to sh** on. That would have been hilarious if you'd have liked this one, though, and not mine. <laughs> what are we waves? So again, this only serves to fan the flames on this conflict between these two communities. Oh, while while this already is crazy, we're still- Doro and Bran, it's the same person, what do you mean? Still at the tip of the iceberg here. This image is arguably one okay, of the- who is this? Funniest things to come out from the drama between Genshin and Wuthering Waves. Not because of what it means, but because the whole thing is a hoax. It's not real. He liked it, chat. Thanks, Mujin. <laughs> real, and I have proof. The number one news source for everything Wuthering Waves related, guys. Oh Wuthering I Waves Media. Page, I'm sure I, I can trust everything they say. Yep. Let's check what this page has in store for us. Let's oh scroll God. down. Look at their pinned post. Seems like MiHoYo employees are really enjoying Wuthering Waves. With this image being attached, 800,000 people saw this with 36,000 likes. They pinned it because they're proud that it's their most viewed image. Yes, but this of image, course. Dude, <laughs> okay, listen. Who let is me just it? give you the full context here. This image actually originated from Way's community. He does. There's no fucking shot. Genshin Theory Crafting vids, I highly recommend you subscribe to him. They're very high quality videos. Anyways, Discord, there's a viewer called Freaky Dawei. 
that for whatever reason was at the MiHoYo Shanghai HQ. Not an employee, just visiting. To prove to Wei that it was... Oh my god, it's the same phone chain. It was actually him and he wasn't lying. He brought up his second phone and opened up Wei's channel and took an image in front of the reception of MiHoYo's HQ office. Pretty cool, right? But then he took it a step further and opened up Wuthering Waves on his second phone in front of that same reception. These are the two <laughs> images Freaky Dawei posted. Now, I don't know how or why, like how did it even spread? Wei was the one that started this. No short. It's so fast, I don't know. I mean, Wei was joking around saying start Twitter war. <laughs> But this image found itself on the biggest Wuthering Waves news source on Twitter and it's their most liked and interacted with post of all time. This wasn't just limited to that page though, the biggest Genshin Impact meme page. Which fucking sucks by the way, this- wait, is this the- wait, actually, is this the okay one or is this the stupid fucking one? Which loves to steal content. Okay, it's the stupid fucking one. Bullshit. This is the one that started the drama between me and fucking Doro and shit as well with the thumbnail bullshit. The oh, stupid piece of shit. And from other people and block them when they ask for credit. Also posted this on their Twitter. This is the embed right here. Them or did they just steal it again? I'm saying Hoyaverse devs playing Wuthering Waves. It has since been deleted, right? It was up for a few hours, but guys. They have 1.2 million followers, so the yeah. damage has been done. You even have Wei here quote tweeting this post saying, Pick on left is not a Hoya person. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody believed him. <laughs> but of course, people ignored it. The second pick, though, is, as far as I know, real, and it's someone who yes. does work at. That is a Hoyo employee streaming the game. Mihoyo, who was streaming the game on Billy Billy. And it's they were having cool. a great time. Yeah. You know why? Because developers aren't teenagers going through puberty. Let me give you an example. If you worked on Uncharted 4 for three to four years, you've been working on this thing eight to 10 hours a goddamn day. By the time yep. it releases, you could play it and enjoy it, but it will not be the same experience as someone who just started playing it for the first time with no interaction. Dude, Definitely you could not. play the damn thing and look at the rocks and think, I know the person who made the pack of rocks that's placed all over the map. Pretty so cool. then what do you do? You see a game like Tomb Raider come out that has similar mechanics and you play it with fascination. You're yeah, like, oh, so this is how they did anything. this. Yeah. Oh, I think they got inspired from us here, but did it better. Yeah. Oh, so I'm curious how they did this. And you just have a great time. This it's also because they're adults with jobs. I will say that. I think a lot of the people that complain about the games copying certain things from each other and getting very annoyed and defensive of other games are not adults with jobs. This is how developers act. You can have friendly competition in sports. Why not have it here too? But yeah, this image is, <laughs> this image is fake. It's fairly harmless though, but so I wish I could though. say the same so thing good, about dude. this bombshell. Uh, wait, I think this was fake, no? So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, Wuthering Waves had a bit of a rocky launch. But hey, to be fair, it is the biggest game that Kuro Games has ever launched. They apologized and they've been fixing it. It is what it is. But uh -huh. very recently, a post was made on r slash gotcha gaming with the title the real reason wuthering waves is optimization issue seems to be fine <laughs> the main unreal engine specialist jiff was laid off two months before release is it jiff or gif as in not this name but the w and whatever they added between last closed beta and actual release destroyed the optimization starts off the post with let's start with evidence okay oh yeah so this, unlike the uh, <laughs> internal leaked image, is quite a daring accusation. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I fully believed this when I first saw this, all right? But after doing some more digging... See, this is why you're my goat, Mujin. This is why you're my goat, because you dig. You dig deeper than the surface level of things. You see the truth for what it really is. Most of the time. <laughs> I have massive question marks around this entire post. Let's start with the evidence. <laughs> The post by Jif was made on Zihu, a blog website from what I understand, in China. And people were easily able to make the connection with who he is in this video, where he presented their workflows on Wuthering Waves in yep. Unreal Fest Shanghai back in 2023. So this is him right here. Nice. He starts off by saying, two months after leaving Mingchao, which is Wuthering Waves, I got rid of a heavy burden mentally, physically, and in my outlook on life. Nice. I am undoubtedly feeling relaxed and happy. So here's how this post sums it up, right? This person who posted claims to know Chinese. So let's see. The first sentence says, Been two months since I left Wuthering Waves. I'm feeling happy and relaxed, dropping the heavy burden on my body, my mind, and my okay. moral compass. Says, Notice that whatever this is is quite thick here because it's in bold. 
then doesn't really explain what it means. <laughs> after some stuff related to traveling and meeting other devs in the past two months, he said, after all, this industry in China is really a desert of idealism. It neither lacks capital that is solely oriented towards profit, nor lacks companies that have no basic contract spirit. No are hypocrites and real scoundrels who talk about being great in front of others and scheming in the end, behind yes. their backs. Then says something about when choosing a partner to work with, I guess. Character should be your first priority. Not only what he says, but also what he does. Not only what he does and says to you, but also what he does to his past partners. Not only what those close to him say about him, it also depends on what past estranged partners think of him. So here the poster argues that whatever the hell this is, is pretty much insinuating that he's talking about the controversy that Kuro Games had in 2023 huh? when they fired a hundred fresh graduates they hired right before their probation period ended, right before they became full-time. Oh, that happened. Employees. As far as I could tell, listen, I don't know Mandarin, but as far as I could tell from all the research, this actually did happen. Oh, someone asking, it's rumored that Kuro Games is laying off a large number of employees. What is the real situation? They laid off the entire project team, or I guess project management team. And one of the people that responded was, thanks for the invitation. I'm one of the people on the layoff list. I have a vested interest, but I won't be anonymous. They said, I signed a labor contract with Kuro on December 1st, 2022, and Kuro unilaterally terminated the labor contract on May 29, 2023, two days before the end wow. of the probation period on May 31st, on the grounds that I failed the probation period. After the first negotiation on compensation on May 24 failed, Kuro only notified me of the failure of the probation period on the afternoon of May 29 without discussing compensation. So yeah. at the time when this happened, it was actually a fairly big controversy. I'm not surprised. That, I mean, that's, that's, that's pretty messed up. In the gaming space like. in China. So did this occur because they expanded too fast and ran out of capital? Maybe. Or did it happen because of a more shady reason? Who knows? But I know Don't for know. a fact that it did happen. The post here is saying that Jif is hinting on what happened between him and Kuro's Jif or Gif. game management in relation to this, right? But to me, this feels like I'm in poetry class looking at a poet's work and thinking, oh yeah, he must have meant this. It's like, we don't know 100%. Then he references others' comments. The only time Jif replies to a comment is here. Another commenter said, good thing you are gone, otherwise you would be losing so much higher working overnight. Mm -hmm. In which Jif replied, optimization of the final close beta two months ago is fine. I would be making stupid mistakes like this. <laughs> and he's referencing the Rocky release here. So this is that same comment translated with Google Translate. And it's kind of the same thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's hard to translate Mandarin in general. So from what Jif yeah. had said so far, we can conclude that maybe, yes, there was some sort of discontent. I mean, the guy's saying, hey, I'm loving life right now after leaving two months ago. But everything else in this thread comes from hints or deductions, but nothing is 100% certain here. I mean, look, the entire speculation yeah, for the- Yeah, you can speculate all you want, and there's a lot of things that cut out, but you just don't know for sure. Layoff is from a commenter saying, layoffs before launch, are they trying to reduce the number of people who will share year-end bonuses when the game becomes popular? I have seen this before. Yeah. So his entire conclusion that it's a layoff comes from a comment on the thread. Now, listen, I will say Damn. this though, okay? I wouldn't necessarily be surprised to know that he was laid off. I wouldn't necessarily be surprised that there is some dodgy stuff happening. Even though, yes, there are some very vague statements and deductions and speculations in this thread, there's a reason so many people upvoted this and believed this in the comments. It's a different language that many people don't understand, and people want an explanation as to why the launch was filled with bugs. Yeah. But, <laughs> and there's a very big but here. Uh -oh. When I really took a step back, and ask myself, Bro, wait a why, second. Why did Boss Music just start playing Mujin? And this, I can't believe this, is when I saw the person who posted it. Oh no, oh, dude. I don't know much about the arg slash gacha game in Reddit. I said this earlier. I've just heard that they're terrible. But I've also heard of this fucking name so many fucking times. Steamed Dumpling X. And apparently all they do is post misinformation literally all the fucking time. Steamed Dumpling X, and oh man, this person, they're the embodiment of mental illness. <laughs> Brace for impact because we're heading to the fuck psych ward on oh this one. God. Look at this guy's YouTube channel. Yes, this is him, Steam Bun X, in his name, Hoyo Shill. <laughs> the bio is, I shill for Hoyoverse in the game. Angry whenever you talk bad about Genshin Impact or Honkai Star Rail, and he has this very weird and almost borderline creepy obsession with Tectone. Like, look at his feed. Tectone. <laughs> Content oh, creators who used to play Genshin who God. are now playing Wuthering Waves because it just released true comedy, posting bugs with Wuthering Waves, saying that it's an underwhelming game. And of course, more Tectone. <laughs>
I mean, look at this. <laughs> Kuro equals Niji Sanji. <laughs> this dude is such a troll. Jesus but I think the funniest Christ. thing about this guy is that when Genshin was losing over a million followers on their Chinese social media due to the three intertwined fates drama, you can watch my video about it if you have no idea what I'm talking about. You had both people who dislike Genshin and people who have had only a history of positivity with Genshin yeah. all unite together to criticize Hoiver's stupid decision. With if company make bad decision, company get called out on bad decision. If company make good decision, company get praised for good decision. That's how it should be. And I think it becomes a problem when companies start to, like, if somebody calls them out on an actual bad decision and they start to badmouth the, the people or there's no communication or, like, uh, like blacklists and stuff, I think it's a bad thing. There's a very big difference between people calling companies out on bad decisions and people just shit-talking a company for no reason other than to, to, to shit-talk it, right? Uh, it's, it's two very different things. With the exception of very steamed bun X, of course. He made this video, the strange case of three years, three fates, and three million follows Genshin 4.4 drama investigation, in which he was literally the only content creator on the planet. Okay, maybe not, but you know, one of the only people to deny the fact that they lost any followers. There's this really funny 30 second. I mean, there's evidence though. <laughs> clip of Tecton reacting to his video. And I mean, it says everything you need to know about him. The other possibility is that the videos and especially all the articles that is published in multiple language are lying to you. I don't believe that. I'm going to check the graphs myself. <laughs> I, I don't believe this. So I have another image of the follow fall off. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what little bro is talking about. It takes two seconds to research stuff like that. If you're going to well, make claims. Whatever he put is completely wrong. Yeah. Because that did not happen to Genshin's analytics. No. And it's most likely because you bought the follower version and you reported on a bugged out analytics page. So, uh, yeah, no, that's completely wrong. And that took me two seconds. Yeah. yeah. That took me two seconds <laughs> to, to look into. Let's. Look, this dude has yep. tried to troll Genshin content creators, Honkai Star creators, and now Weathering Waves creators. He is known for that. Everyone just dismisses him automatically, especially after this video he made. And very recently, okay, this post was deleted, but oh I still have God. the tab open. Stop doom posting Wuthering Wave. The viewer for Wuthering Wave have never gone lower than 20k for the past four days. I'm not accusing we want a view botting. This is only a praise post for we are. Show showing that it re retains more players at night than even League of Legend. I thought this was a Hoyo shill. <laughs> and thankfully, he posted again on Gacha Gaming, which has a hate this? boner for Wuthering Waves, by the way. That's another story. This okay. post saying, stop doom posting Wuthering Waves. Oh, the viewer sorry, for Wuthering Waves have never gone lower than 20k for the past four days. I'm not accusing Wuthering Waves of view botting. This is only a praise post for Wuthering Waves, showing that it retains more players at night than even League of Legends. So this post is meant to be ironic in yeah. the unfunniest way possible. Oh. oh, this was meant to be ironic? He was comparing World of Warcraft, which gets around like 50k viewers peak every day, uh -huh. compared to Wuthering Waves, saying, Wuthering Waves seems to have a very strong viewer retention at night where most Twitch viewers are not watching. So he's pretty much hinting at the idea that, oh, they're probably botting. This doesn't make any sense. He also accuses Xyox of view botting because he gained almost 2,000 <laughs> followers in the snap of a finger when he switched to Wuthering Waves. And that when he was streaming the Genshin livestream, he only gained 80 followers. Genshin could never, with an S at the end, hinting. Is that, did Xyox gain 2,000 followers during the stream of Wuthering Waves? Or literally it, within a second? Because if it's just within a second, it's probably just that somebody else view button him. It wouldn't be him view button himself. He doesn't fucking need it, dude. Bro's at God knows how many followers. I think that it's satire. Does anyone else think the stats look kind of weird? Gonna be absolute cinema, he says. So confidently, God. living in his own world. I imagine Steam Bun... <laughs> I imagine this dude literally in like a home in the middle of nowhere by himself. He wakes up every day, talks to himself in the mirror and thinks, man, dude, wait till everyone sees what I'm cooking. <laughs> <laughs> but no one cares. So of course, the loud bunch of some oh Hoyoverse games on Twitter would repost this post saying this is actually tragic. No wonder it was so choppy when it released. It's heartbreaking. Another Genshin player saying, the fact that this story is finally spreading. Like, God, thank God. I was hoping this would happen. Many people, including maybe you watching right now, might have believed it like I did. 
And while yes, this post may be hinting at some foul play in terms of politics, in terms of bad co-workers, in terms of just employee dissatisfaction, it doesn't confirm that he was laid off. No, it, doesn't it doesn't confirm that it was all. done deliberately. No. The only thing I can very safely confirm to you today that I'm very confident about that is 100% true at the risk of ruining any relationship I might have with Kuro Games is that yes, before release, their Wuthering Waves team was pretty much out of budget. It was doing pretty badly. And if you're a content creator, I think, I think that's a either a pretty well known thing or a very well speculated thing. Who was in contact with them? You knew this. Many people on the marketing and content creator teams were being laid off, and they had like. N it's also a case of you can you can deduct that just from the fact that in the past, uh, Kuro was not good at marketing. They just weren't. You got to remember this chat, even for like PGR and stuff, marketing is basically non-existent. PGR looks like a really, really good game, but uh, there was just no marketing for it. And people were worried that that was going to be a thing for Wuthering Waves, but they absolutely smashed it for Wuthering Waves for marketing. They no funds for sponsors, period. Yep. For example, only a handful of streamers on Twitch got sponsored. Almost no one on YouTube didn't... got a sponsor. Didn't... It's a miracle the game came out. So yeah, I would not yeah. be surprised if I'm Jeff just got laid off. Out, but to say that he got laid off specifically so that he doesn't get game release bonuses after working on the game for years is a massive accusation. And unless there's actual direct evidence, I just choose to not believe it because it's that much of a difference. Also, I'm adding this to the video on the day it's meant to release. Hi, I know I sound sick because I am. You're I wanted sick. to point out that the mods on r slash gotcha gaming actually deleted Steam Bunnex post about all this. Oh. Apparently, they're taking a hard stance on hostility Good. and drama farming, Good which shit. is actually pretty cool. So, yeah. hey. Sucks for you, though. <laughs> How are you going to make all the videos? Kudos to them. Anyway, let's get back. Maybe you could become a mod for them. To the normal video. So all these things combined, especially with the fact that we have someone extremely mentally ill making this post, completely changes my opinion. Kuro yeah. Games had a very rough period before launch, Agreed. all right? But they're slowly recovering and hopefully- Now, Mujin, the question is, have you heard of the new news about the email situation? <laughs> they can not only rehire the people that they fired, but they can manage their funds better. But even with all these things debunked, even if all the players would stop causing drama, there's another big problem. Ha yes, I have. And it's always fucking happens as I'm uploading. Happening, which is encouraging. Time for electric boogaloo number two. The fires, even though no one wants to put gas on them. Bots. The bots are unfortunately a real thing. Braxophone, who is a very well-known yeah. guide maker for Genshin Impact, Honkai Star Rail, and Wuthering Wave, just gotcha in general, had these bots show up while he was streaming Wuthering Waves. Yep. He says 100 accounts followed him, and then he saw these first-time chatters very quickly in chat, saying Genshin Impact's attention to detail is impeccable. Wuthering Waves is riddled with sloppy mistakes. Did you know Genshin Impact's puzzles are clever? <laughs> Wuthering Waves' puzzles are childish. But Wuthering Waves' puzzles are so fucking good. Genshin Impact's boss fights are thrilling. Wuthering Waves' bosses are pushovers. Hey, did you know how seamless Genshin Impact's cooperative play is? <laughs> Wuthering Waves' multiplayer is a disaster. And what's funny is that someone posted this tweet on TikTok claiming that it was Hoyaverse that botted him. <laughs> yeah, that's ridiculous to me. That's ridiculous to me. I, I really don't think Hoya would buy like a 50 follower view bot to go around to streamers and send those messages. <laughs> it's so Hoyover. <sighs> Another gacha content creator called Legion Z Gaming also had this show up in a Wuthering Waves video in his comments. Genshin Impact is better voice acting than Wuthering Waves. Genshin Impact offers better co-op gameplay. Wuthering Waves has limited exploration opportunities. Wuthering Waves user interface is less intuitive. Genshin Impact story is engaging, whereas Wuthering Waves narrative is bland. Genshin Impact features more varied enemy types. Wuthering Waves lacks regular updates, unlike Genshin- I don't get these bots anymore, dude. Maybe I scared them off. Impact's frequent content releases. Look, man, I don't know who the hell is doing this. I don't think Hoyaverse would stoop this low to hire bot farms to do this. I they mean, won't. what are they going to get from it? Nothing. I honestly, Content like this. I would not be surprised that it was one of these weird ass Twitter stands. Yep. Make it's probably Steam Bun X. <laughs> Picking up these bots, defending their billion dollar company, and resulting in flames being exaggerated to massive hellfire. <laughs> there is so much misinfo and even bots, but you know what's funny? The craziest thing in all this drama somewhat uh -huh. ended up being true. Going back to the wonderful and completely objective gotcha. This was not true, Bujin. 
I don't think, right? I, I heard this was very, very false. It was just a shit post. To gaming subreddit. This post made the rounds online, saying multiple tests from the Chinese community suggested opening Genshin on the background while playing Wuthering Waves may help fix Wuthering Waves performance issues. So initially, people thought that this was shit posting. But I've seen many comments of people saying that this actually kind of works. I thought it was ridiculous at first. But it's for very specific things. Some people had issues verifying integrity of game files after they launched the game, right? But then okay. when they launched Genshin, for whatever reason, the loading bar started progressing. Which is that actually, did that actually happen? Made some people think, wow, dude, Kuro Games would really stoop this low, huh? <laughs> Being like, of course they would make their game perform worse and only perform better once they launch a competitor at the same time. Of course, like <laughs> this makes total sense. Yeah, of course so it does it, you buffoon. The actual technical explanation makes more sense. Some people have come up with that idea, okay. which is Genshin is made on the Unity engine, a heavily modified version, so heavily modified that it I keep accidentally holding my spacebar and I don't realize it plays the video with like two times speed, I'm sorry. Does it classify as Unity legally at this point? Wuthering Waves is on Unreal oh, Engine wow. 4. Unreal Engine 4 is more catered to mid and high range PCs, while Unity is more catered to literal potatoes. Yes. So it's somewhat more optimized fundamentally. When you launch Genshin, what it'll do is it'll kind of turn off the unnecessary Windows processes going on in the background that Wuthering Waves doesn't have control over. And this will help you <laughs> have better performance when you're checking your game file integrity. I did it again. I'm so I'm going to take my hand off the keyboard. Yeah, it sounds insane, I know, but some people have genuinely reported that it does help and now they can play the game. So, hey, uh, whatever works, <laughs> I guess. Look, overall, this has been crazy. I don't think I've seen so much drama between two communities when a competitor launched in a very long time. Me but either, with that dude. being said... Actually, I have, and it was the Genshin and Story <laughs> communities. I do need to point out something important. I've seen oh. many comments of people saying, I don't care about the stupid drama. I'm enjoying all games. Me Why too. can't we just enjoy all games? And that's the truth. True. I'm sure Wuthering Waves developers have played Genshin, and I'm sure Genshin developers have played Wuthering Waves, and I'm sure they both enjoyed their time. Why can't we do the same? So let's... I agree. Let's chill take a step back yep. and be glad that we have so many high quality gacha games coming out that so aren't just casino true, slot dude. machine simulators, but something with an actual story and good characters. You have Azure Premelia coming out soon yep. and you have Project Mugen. Yep, I really do hope that when they come out, something like this will not happen again. <laughs> Maybe I'm just too positive at this point. Anyway, thank you for nah. watching and nah. I'll see you in the next video. Yo, no, Mwah. it Love all makes sense. Mwah. Love you too. <laughs>